Hi, and welcome back to English with Fliss. You've obviously clicked this video because you want to learn a little bit more about the apostrophe. But before we do that, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And this is a quick little shout out to Lisa LMNS8761, who is a consistent viewer and always leaves a comment down below my videos. Thank you so much for that, Lisa. I appreciate that. If you too would like a mention, let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to mention you the next time I record a video. So you will learn in this video how to use apostrophes correctly in your writing. So what do apostrophes show? Why do we use them? So they show possession or ownership. They show a contraction and plurals. So regular and irregular, and we will explore what that means later. So let's look at um, some examples of apostrophes to show possession. So those toys are my brothers. So we've used the we've used the word brother apostrophe s, and that shows us that these toys belong to the brother. Okay, they're his. He's the owner. He possesses them. That's my cat's food bowl. Now that's that's our contraction of that is. So we're not focusing on that at the moment. We're looking at cats. So we're saying that the food bowl belongs to my cat. That's my cat's food bowl. The cat owns it, it's theirs. That's mum's car. Who owns the car? Who possesses the car? Mum does. Now this one, I've written it out twice and you'll see that um, with James in the first example, I've written James apostrophe and left it at that. And then in the second example, James apostrophe S. Both ways are correct. So that's James's house. You say it either sentence, that's James's house. This is what we do when we've got a name or a word that finishes in S. So we've got James, Chris, Fliss, so whatever. You decide whether or not you want to follow it with apostrophe S or just the apostrophe. It's up to you. Whichever one you choose to use, be consistent with it. So what I mean by that is if you're writing a novel, an essay, if you choose to go with the first example there, you follow through with that and you only write in that way. In this case, when a name or word ends with S but needs to show possession or we need an apostrophe for another reason. Okay, so be consistent. If you choose to follow the second way in your novel, short story, essay, be consistent, only do it that way. Don't switch and change. Okay, but if you choose to do another piece of writing, you do whichever one suits you, but be consistent. I personally will always do the top sentence just because, I don't know, to me, S apostrophe S just looks funny. So I personally go with the top way, but like I said, neither is wrong. They're both right. You do what suits you. Okay, now let's look at apostrophes in contractions. Cannot, can't, did not, didn't. It is, it's, would not, wouldn't. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about contractions or you want to discuss them more or understand them even further and have a practice with contractions, check out my contractions video for more help. And I go into depth about contractions and you get more examples. Okay. Now let's go into apostrophes in regular plural possessive nouns. So a simple explanation of nouns is that they're names of things. So go check out my nouns video for more information on proper nouns, common nouns, and pronouns. I will link that in the top right hand corner for you. Um, that way you can understand that a little bit better. Okay, so let's get into it. The next slide um, is the first slide, but I'll, I'll explain it. it it better shows the plural possessive noun. So those toys are my brothers. So we've got a regular possessive here. So it's a regular noun, brother, because we change brother to brothers. But those toys are my brothers. So you'd say those toys are my brothers. It's a bit difficult to say, but <laughs> those toys are my brothers. 
So this is a regular plural possessive noun that finishes in S. So what I mean by that, see how the plural of brother, if we've got more than one, we would write brothers, B-R-O-T-H-E-R-S, and leave it at that. But because it's a possessive noun, we're saying that those toys belong to both of those boys, both of those brothers, the apostrophe then follows to the end of that sentence. So to the end of that word, sorry. So those toys are my brothers. I'm just, I'm looking at this as I've, as I'm reading it and I've missed, see how I've put quotations marks at the start of the sentence. So I've put a quotation mark and for this sentence to actually be correct, I should have done brothers apostrophe full stop and then another apostrophe to close the quote. So please don't get confused there. So like I said, the plural of brother to show that there's more than one, could be two, three, four, whatever, is brothers. But because this is a possessive plural, we've written brothers followed by an apostrophe to show that more than one brother owns the toys. But the example I've given you here is a regular plural with no possession. So someone said, those brothers are cute. Those boys don't own the cuteness. Someone's just made a statement saying that they're cute. Therefore, we just, there's no apostrophe in this word of brothers because we're just highlighting the fact that there are, there is, there are two or more brothers and we're just saying they're cute. They don't own the cuteness, if that makes sense. So you would just write that there, regular plural. Now, those toys are my brothers. If you said it like that, those toys are my brothers, you're literally saying that the toys are your brothers. That's why I've got a picture of two cars here saying brother one, brother two. So if you're saying those toys are my brothers, you're literally saying those toys are your human brothers. So that's the importance of using our apostrophe correctly. And here I've shown you it is incorrect. So you would choose if you're trying to say those toys are my brothers plural, we'd go with the middle example here. And if it's just one brother who owns the toys, it is the top example. Now, again, apostrophes in regular plural possessive nouns. Those cat, those are my cat's food bowls. Okay. So the bowl, the bowls belong to more than one cat. So we've got two cats and now we're describing that both of those bowls belong to two cats. So those are my cat's food bowls. Again, a regular plural. So more than one cat we would just write C-A-T-S. And this, this sentence here, those cats are cute. Again, it's just a regular plural. We don't need, there's no possession there. So we don't need an apostrophe. We're just simply sta stating that there are two, three, six cats and they're cute. Now, apostrophes, again, sorry, apostrophes in regular plural possessive nouns, that's my parents' car. So, in this example, we're referring to both parents. Both parents own this car. So the regular way to say that you've got more than one parent without a possession is parents without the apostrophe there. So P-A-R-E-N-T-S, that's it. But because the parents have ownership or they possess that car, that's my parents' car. They both own it. It's both of theirs. That's why we followed it with an apostrophe. But here's the regular plural. So if someone said, whose car is that? And you're just saying, let's say dad, because we've got a man in the car. Um, if we're just saying it's this person's dad's car, but they, instead of saying dad, they said parent, that's my parent's car. They're saying that's the car that belongs to my single parent dad. Okay. That's why we've got the apostrophe there. So if we'll go back, this is referring to both parents 
both parents own this car. This is just when only one parent owns the car. Now let's look at irregular plurals. So irregular, irregular plurals are when a word doesn't change to, when the word changes. So for child, for example, we don't say child's, that's incorrect. We say children. So the word changed. So child is one individual. Children is more than one. Woman changes to women. So woman is one. Women is more than one. Man is one man. Men refers to more than one. Baby changes to babies. Okay. Tooth changes to teeth. So there are, there are more irregular plurals. Um, if you want to research them further, go for it. Have a little Google, see what you can find. But they're just some examples for you so you can understand how the word changes. So tooth, talking about one, but now we want to talk about more than one tooth. So we'll say my teeth. My, I have a toothache. Or you can say, oh, my teeth ache because you've got more than one tooth that's bothering you. So let's look at some examples, apostrophes in irregular plural possessive nouns. So here are the child's toys. We're talking about one child here. Okay, got one child in the image. Here are the child's toys. This one single singular child owns these toys. Then we change it to our irregular. Here are the children's toys. More than one child is now pictured. So children, apostrophe S. Here are the children's toys. The man's house is nice. So we've got one man, he owns this house and we think it's nice. The men's house is nice. So now we've got more than one man and they both own it. So now we've changed it from man, man's house, to the men's house, more than one. The men's house is nice. Now, other possessive pronouns are his, theirs, hers, and mine. But these already have or show possession in their meaning. Therefore, they don't need apostrophes. So if we said that's his house, we're referring to one person We don't need an apostrophe because it already shows possession in that. That's um, whose jumper is that? Oh, it's hers. It it belongs to her. It's hers. We don't need an apostrophe. Now, what I want you to do is to test yourself. I've given you a few different slides to practice. So this is singular possessive. So test yourself and figure out where the apostrophes need to go. All right, so pause the video, write it down and fill in those possessive singular apostrophes. All right, I hope you've paused the video. I hope you've had a go. Now let's have a look and find out where the possessive singular apostrophe should be. So Mia's cat, she owns the cat, it's Mia's. So we need an apostrophe there. The chef's knife is sharp. Whose knife is it? It's the chef's. He owns it. Tony's mum is nice. Tony doesn't own her mum, but it's her mum. Here's her mum, whoever. I think this way is the man, Tony. The male name. Male spelling, I should say. Sorry. (laughs) So Tony's mum is nice. We're saying his mum is nice. Now, have a go at this. Now, this is the plural possessive, okay? So more than one. So for the first example, we're talking about more than one dog, okay? Hopefully that helps you. So write these down, pause the video, and have a go. I right, hope you've paused the video and you've had a chance at filling in where you think the plural possessive apostrophe should go. Here we go. So Tom's, that's, that's actually a singular possessive because Tom's just one person. So Tom's dog's bowls need filling. So Tom owns more than one dog 
and their bowl needs filling. So we do the apostrophe after the S because there's more than one dog. If it was just Tom's dog, he only has one. Tom, Tom's singular dog's bowl needs filling. We would have gone D-O-G apostrophe S. But because he has more than one, it goes after the S. Next week is the women's book club. So we're referring to more than one woman, which is why we've said women. The boys' soccer game was cancelled. So the game that belonged to more than one boy was cancelled. So that's why we've done B-O-Y-S apostrophe. Now I've mixed it all together and you need to figure out where the apostrophe should go. In the brackets you can see for the first example, um, I've written in brackets one. So I'm showing you there that it's just one cat. And in the one, two, three, fourth sentence, again, that's just one sister. And in the last sentence, we're showing that that's two. That room belongs to two sisters. So have a go, test yourself now, pause the video and see how you go. Okay, so I hope you've paused the video. Now let's check out where the uh, apostrophe should be. Okay, because it's one cat, the cat's fur is thick. So um, it's just cat apostrophe S because that singular cat, it, we're talking about its fur. Now, those cats have thick fur. The reason why I didn't um, use uh, brackets to show you how many cats is because I've used the word those. The word those refers to more than one. So those cats talking about multiple cats, that's why the apostrophe goes outside of the S, have thick fur. So we're talking about several cats here and they all have thick fur. Um, the fisherman's rod broke. We're talking about one fisherman there and his rod broke. If we were talking about more than one fisherman, it would have changed to the fisherman's rod broke, which would have been Fisher, M-E-N-S apostrophe. Okay, but for this, we're talking about one fisherman and his rod broke. My sister's bicycle wheel is flat. So this person had one sister. So it was therefore apostrophe S because she owns the bicycle wheel and it is flat. That room belongs to my sisters. So two sisters, then we write sisters, plural form, followed by the apostrophe to show possession. Now, again, this is mixed. Pause the video, have a go, and let's see what you come up with. So I hope you've paused the video and had a go at filling in where those apostrophes should be. Let's have a look at the answers. So my mum's the best cook. This one was a contraction, really. Um, I haven't included many contraction examples because you can go do that in my contraction video. So my mum is the best cook is what we've said there. The fisherman's boats are ready. So I've made a mistake in this one. I do apologize. So the fisherman's, because we're talking about more than one fisherman, it should be fisherman's. And then the apostrophe should be after the S. Sorry about that. So F-I-S-C-H, sorry, F-I-S-H-E-R-M-E-N-S -E apostrophe because we're showing that the boat belongs to more than one fisherman. So the fisherman's boats are ready. So remember the apostrophe should be after the S. Sorry about that. This is my dad's workplace. So... This is where the dad goes to work. He doesn't necessarily own the workplace, but because it's his place of work, it's a possessive. So apostrophe yes. My brother's naughty. So how many brothers are we talking about in this sentence? If you said one, yes, you're correct. If it was more than one, we would have placed the apostrophe after the S. So we're talking about one brother. My brother's naughty. That dog's put mud on my pants. So this is a contraction. That dog has put mud on my pants. That dog's put mud on my pants. The chef's knives are here. 
So we're talking about three chefs, as I've written, and they own these knives, which are here. So in summary, apostrophes show possession slash ownership, contractions, and plurals, regular and irregular. Remember, with singular possession, the apostrophe precedes the S, okay? With plural possession, the apostrophe comes after the S. So first example, cat's bowl, that's one cat, C-A-T, apostrophe S. Second example, more than one cat, two, three, four, whatever, a hundred, C-A-T-S, apostrophe, okay? So how did you go? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if this was helpful to you. If it was, please share this video to someone. Um, who you think could benefit from it, don't forget to like the video. And again, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos and so you can help contribute and make my channel grow. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.